I'm Jared Thompson from Premium Blend, and this is our small studio session.
Hey everybody, we're Premium Blend. Uh, to my right, I want to introduce Mr. Stephen Jones on keyboard and key bass. Uh, behind him on drums is Mr. Brian Yard. And to my left on guitar, Mr. Ryan Taylor. I'm Jared Thompson on tenor sax. Uh, that first tune was uh, off of our first album that was called Train of Thought, and we're going to follow that up with a tune from our second album. Uh, I dedicated this song to my mother, so this is called Teresa. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. This next tune we're going to do, um, it's uh, to pay tribute to a, a wonderful um, jazz musician that, that uh, in his lifetime had a legacy of music, uh, Mr. Roy Hargrove, who we lost at the, the latter half of 2018. Um, and I was inspired by him as a, as a young musician when he was playing more straight ahead music. And as I got to be a teenager, um, he was playing and writing music and horn parts from people from Erykah Badu to D'Angelo. Um, and um, it, it bridged a gap between jazz and R&B and hip hop and created some great music with that as well. So in honor of Mr. Roy Hargrove, we're gonna play a tune of his off of his Ear Food album called uh, Star Maker.
We're going to do uh, one more tune. Uh, fortunately, uh, we're going to be releasing another album in 2019. Um, and uh, again, I want to introduce my band. These are these are my friends, my family. Um, they co-song right, um, and I really appreciate that. So uh, introducing Premium Blend to my right, Mr. Stephen Jones on keyboard and key bass. Uh, back there making noise on the drums is Mr. Brian Yard. <laughs> to my left is uh, Mr. Ryan Taylor. Um, he is also the composer of our, our final tune um, called Vices, and that's the, the name of our next album, Vices. So I'll be looking for that in 2019. Um, you can find us anywhere on social media. It's very easy. Premium Blend Indie, all one word. That works for Facebook, Instagram, and it's also the name of our website. I'm Jared Thompson. I'm Premium Blend. Premium Blend. Really appreciate being here for the uh, small studio session. It's been a pleasure. This is Vices. Thank you. 
All right. So our viewers and listeners know who you are and who's speaking. <laughs> Let's go through, uh, introduce yourself and your role in Premium Blend. Sure. I'm uh, Jared Thompson. I'm the band leader and saxophone player. I'm Ryan Taylor, a guitarist and songwriter, co-songwriter, as it were. I'm Stephen Jones. I'm the keyboardist and bass player. Brian Yard, and I play drums. Stephen was also our album cover illustrator for the second album as well, so the road, he's being it's modest. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful cover. Did you do the for the new album, too? Uh, no, no, not yet. I, I don't know. If Jared wants me to do it, yeah, yeah, I'm going to need at least five or six months in advance. To <laughs> I don't done. know if there will be five or six months, yeah, will there? Say we'll see. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Let's backtrack a little bit here. Tell me when and how and why the four of you got together to create Premium Blend. Uh, the four of us was, um, I think this makes eight years. This will be the eighth year that we've been together. Um, Steven and I, um, and then Brian very shortly after that, we're playing our weekly Sunday gig at the Chatterbox. Um, and Ryan was a, a transplant in from Tacoma, 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 Washington. And he sat in, uh, and brought his guitar and, uh, my trumpet player was getting ready to move out of town and it literally happened just that quickly. The next week, Ryan was on the gig. So. Eight years together is a long time for a group. How do you, how do you make that happen? I pay them. <laughs> <laughs> that helps, certainly. <laughs> well, and you also all kind of co-write and you do multiple things together, too. It seems like it is a real collaboration between the four of you. Yes. Um, the sound, as hopefully you all um, noticed during our performance... Um, it is uh, not unlike the title of our first album, Some of All Parts. I mean, we are more than the sum of our parts. You know, it's um, the four of us together. We're sort of like a musical Voltron. You know, we, we create this this force. And um, it's it's a really good experience to play with talented musicians on a regular basis and um, to be able to communicate and just, you know, you follow each other's instincts. And it's... Um, it's it's a blessing for sure. You mentioned uh, two albums out. The third one's coming up next. So some of all parts, the road, mm -hmm. and now vices. How has your creativity and your work together evolved from that first album through the second album and the soon to be released third? I've got my ideas on that. I kind of want to hear what they <laughs> think about that. I mean, it's <clears throat> I'm sure there'll be some some commonalities, but it'd be nice to. Um, to hear it from a, a perspective of, of one of these guys. Um, what's the question exactly? How have you guys, how's your music evolved and your work together evolved through the course of these three albums? Well, compositionally, I think we're trying to make more of a direct statement with the tune. Um, and as our writing skills have evolved, um, we have a clear aesthetic in mind. Um, we have a notion of how we want the tune to impact the audience. And so I think that helps in terms of um, persuading an audience to listen, engaging the audience. And I, I know that Jared's intent with a lot of his his songs is to evoke a certain feeling and um, hence the title vices and some of the titles of the tracks you know are meant to you know reflect the um, ambiance of the tune and so as time has progressed and our, our writing has developed I think we're we're better at sort of setting a goal with the tune and executing um, and achieving that goal rather <laughs> Um, I think maturity has a lot to do with it, spending a lot of time together. So we we play pretty often together through the city, and, you know, that's definitely helped telepathically, I think, you know, to at least know what someone's thinking or at least have a ballpark idea of things that can possibly happen, you know, so that... 
Um, there's there's cohesion as we move forward. So I think that definitely that helps any band. I mean, any band that you hear, you know, any international act that you hear come through the city or anywhere, you know, there's definitely a level of synergy that doesn't come. Or sometimes it may come, you know, just immediately as, as you, you know, be, you know, as you get together. And sometimes it takes time, you know, there's there. I think there's some extremes to that, but I think there's something that we have going definitely that helps. Steve? Um, you know, as, as a, a keyboardist, I think um, kind of to add on to synergy, I feel like, uh, well, when there are two chordal instruments within a group and it's, there's, a, there's, there's a, um, a level of improvisation going on, part of the challenge is not getting in each other's way. So for, for me, I'm, I'm constantly um, trying to figure out um, the creative inclinations of the players around me. And I think um, as a group, we're all kind of settling more into that, getting used to, to each other's habits. You know, there, there are times when I may not know exactly where Brian is uh, time-wise uh, during his solo, but I know, you know, if I can hear certain fills and I know, okay, this is probably where one is or where he perceives the downbeat being, you know, things like that. Um, certain melodic phrases that Jared might play or or harmonies that, that Ryan uh, might play, you know, you, you just get used to hearing them over the years and you, you develop reactions to them so that it sounds more arranged, even when it's not planned. So I think that that's getting better. No, I'd agree with that. Say that's the <laughs> summation of all of that. I, I, I agree. Um, you know, intent, um, writing, uh, executing intent, uh, writing, executing intent harmonically. Um, and then again, um, time together. That was the easy easy thing for us because we had a, a platform to do that every week um, and just to see the progression over um, since the first release uh, album it, it's pretty pretty exciting to listen to I mean there's certain tunes that I for one don't want to hear anymore just because I don't feel like I was I could play it better now you know but that's what progress is you know and it's just a springboard for um, setting um, new goals and, and, and elevating so yeah I mean I'm lucky to have these guys behind me because they push me um, to be more direct in my writing to be more direct in my playing um, and to to focus and, and, and really buckle down on the music can't wait to listen to Vices as the album and, and whatever's next because we know there will be more from the four of you so thank you so much appreciate it it was nice being thank here you. Thank, thank you, you.